I'm Bleeding Critic. Here's the review for the documentary Room 237. I've no problem people sharing interesting interpretations of any brilliant film, especially Kubrick's work that have so many layers to them, but not when people's faults are beyond stupid. The contributors, who you don't see by the way, which is a really silly decision, being that this is a documentary, tell me that they're experts of their particular field who can read into scenes in a way no one else can, which is very patronising. However, the first couple of observations are interesting. And then I'm listening to an idiot who believes during the opening credits to The Shining, Stanley Kubrick's face can be seen in the clouds. Another individual believes a few suitcases in the Overlook Hotel's lobby in the background refers to the Holocaust. It's just a pile of suitcases. And remember that scene when Danny is talking to his imaginary friend Tony in his home bathroom. Another contributor noticed the sticker on the door of Dopey from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. In another shot the sticker is gone so this guy reckons it represents that Danny isn't Dopey anymore. An early fade between two shots is overanalyzed suggesting the janitor is a giant it's just a fade, that's it. And a couple of bad continuity shots are twisted into warped interpretations. The shots are just bad continuity, as you'll notice in most films if you watch each scene over a thousand times. The opinions I'm hearing sound like they're being made up on the spot. One man silences his child in the background. Why keep that in the edit? Another bloke talks about Kubrick's film Barry Lyndon being a boring film to him, so he believes Kubrick was bored and that's the reason why Kubrick made The Shining. This man has never met Kubrick, yet he knows why Kubrick made The Shining. What special powers this individual has. Unfortunately, stupidity ramps up to another level when some moron is convinced when Jack Torrance shakes Stuart Ullman's hand in that interview scene. Ullman has a hard-on because his crutch lines up with the paper tray on his desk. The background music used is terrible, the footage used and editing is so bad. The audio is unedited, everything is overanalyzed, everything's overcomplicated. Not everything in a movie has a hidden meaning behind it. Sometimes you've got to take it for what you see on screen and nothing more. Room 237 is a joke and I ain't laughing. It's the worst documentary I've ever witnessed and I could not watch more than 34 minutes of this shit. It's made clear at the beginning, thankfully no one from the actual The Shining production team got involved. If Stanley was alive, this garbage would not have been made. He ain't turning in his grave angry about it. He's just gonna haunt the shit out of everyone involved forever and ever. I'm Bleeding Critic. Book me here on Cameo if you'd like me to create a special video message for one of your friends or enemies. You might request a happy birthday or to let them know I'll have the starring role in their nightmares. In the meantime, please don't panic if your screen starts to bleed. <laughs>